All right, guys, the video is starting. We have no augment. How does that make sense? Well, no portal this game. Whenever this happens, when there's no portal, there's also no augments, right? So that makes a... Uh, they, they, they want to make like a very boring round of TFT. I'm just kidding. That's not how it works. When there's no portal, there was instead an encounter at the start of the game. And our encounter for this game is Lilia. And she moves all augments to a random round. Completely random. We'll see when we'll get the augments. They could probably be back to back, right? Or something stupid like that. We will see when we get those augments. Now, what am I supposed to build here? Oh, we get even more heavenly. I like that. Lots of heavenly value already. Do we go this or Reaper? I think Reaper is more useful, right? Because then we have a ranged damage dealer as well. Do we just go Ginsu's on her? I would say we go Ginsu's. I would say we go Ginsu's and then just Sword. Yeah, I mean, this, this makes sense to me. I think I'm supposed to play this over him because she gives health instead of resistances, which I think is better. Although, I'm probably supposed to play this over Kiana as well, because Kiana gives us attack damage, which... I mean, with the Ginsu's, huh? Not sure. This guy has a 2-star Kha'Zix, just like we do, but he has items on it. Can't give my Kha'Zix a Gunblade or something, so... He's a little bit stronger. Okay, I'll keep it a stack. No portal... No augment makes this early game even more boring than it usually is. And usually TFT early game, in my opinion at least, is pretty boring, right? The, the exciting stuff happens late game. When you start rolling down and stuff, right? So, um, this is, this is, this is a questionable. Questionable encounter. Questionable for sure. <laughs> Very questionable. Not a fan of it so far. I mean, I'm not gonna level, right? I'm just sitting here. I am just simply sitting here. This guy has a lot of two stars, man. That's crazy. Don't think we can match that. Yeah. Could also put all the augments in stage two. Seems like fun if it doesn't happen too often. Yeah, but... Only happened once so far, and so far stage two, I have no augments to be no augments are not to be seen so far. So I don't think I'm. I think I have to pre-level right at the end of the day. I'm gonna be broke, but like if I if I sell my my freaking pairs, I'm 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 just going dead last. No, I have no strength at all mid game. If I sell my my second kindred, right? But I mean, I have to move out of kindred kindred anyway. Like she's not very she's not very strong right here. I'm just gonna build a death blade. Am I angling towards Ash? I guess. Yeah. When I had it, bugged and gave us four augments. That's pretty funny. That is hilarious. Hopefully that bug happens. Now I'm excited. Now I'm excited. Ooh, sniper. There we go. There we go, guys. Now we can play the game a little bit. We can play the game a tiny bit. Okay. Let's go. Are we gonna go Aphelios reroll or no? What do you think, guys? How do you play Aphelios reroll? It's I heard it's double Ginsu's. Double Ginsu's is good on Aphelios reroll. That's what I heard. But I'm not sure how you play it. Do you just play full fated, right? I think it's always full fated, right? It's seven fated probably. Fated is a very strong trait right now. I hit 10 Fated yesterday, but even without 10 Fated, I was dominating the lobby. Darkness is there a 2 cost Fated or am I being stupid right now? No, there is Kindred. Which we just sold, by the way, but it's fine. I need to make 10. Kindred is gonna come back eventually. Look, she's already back. She's already back. But the thing is, if I win this, I sell everything, I think. Okay, so we go full fated, probably. Just seven fated. The thing is, what if you don't get the spatula? How do you play it then? 
How do you play Fated without the emblem? There's only seven Fated units. And you want seven Fated, so you really need this, the emblem, huh? We need an emblem. But yeah, Aphelios should be pretty strong. Every time he ults, he shoots the three nearest enemies. He applies armor pen to them as well. Before he deals damage to them, I think. Yeah, yeah. 20% armor pen. And then he fires the three shots, right? So he can basically give himself armor pen, which is pretty good. So we don't really need armor pen. I mean, it's still good to have it because it's... Uh... Okay, I definitely want to play Fated here. The thing is, I have to gimp my frontline too much, right? I have to gimp my frontline too much. But it's okay, because we get this shield on Yasuo. I don't know if it's okay, man. Oh, nice, we get another Ginsu's almost. Come on, Rod. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's just well deserved after all these bad games today. The thing is, I'm not even sure if this is lucky enough because I'm still pretty weak, right? Okay, so it, it'll be hilarious if stage 3 has no augment. It'll be hilarious. I'm actually rooting for it. That would be funny. Okay, there's an augment at 3 1. There's an augment at 3 1. It's a silver augment. You gotta be kidding me, man. Like, you just gotta be kidding me. Should I take Blistering Strikes and just call it day? Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. With these augments, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, I mean, our frontline is... Uh, I should probably get banned for it, right? Should I just frontline her as well? She tanks a little bit. And then just jumps away. Yeah. Start the video here. Yeah. We're not gonna do that, man. Okay, so now the next augment is gonna be, like, we might get two augments in stage four or something. It's kind of crazy. You can die before the last augment. I mean, you can always die before the last augment, but you can die at stage five and not have the last augment yet, maybe. Not sure, maybe they have, like, an upper limit for when the last augment can show up. Okay, she one-shot my dude or my, my girl. The Philos is doing really well, man. The Philos is doing really well. By the way, his Fated bonus is bonus attack damage. As you guys know, probably, Fated, you pair them up together. The pair gets 20% bonus health. And those... Those Fated bonuses will be applied... Wow! That is disgusting right about now. That is just disgusting, guys. Based. Deserved. Uh, so these guys are paired, right? I can also pair these guys if I want. Now they are tethered, but I want to pair these guys explicitly because I want the Yasuo Fated bonus. And that Yasuo Fated bonus is the shield, which is insanely strong, right? The shield at the start of combat. At 5 Fated, all the Fated champions will get that shield, right? Not just the, the tethered people. And all the Fated champions will also get the attack damage. Right now it's just him getting the shield and him, and him also getting the attack damage and him. 25%, and then at 7 Fated, we will get 300% of these bonuses, so 75% attack damage on the Aphelios, which is gonna go crazy, right? Gonna go absolutely crazy. I'm gonna sell this, it's fine. I just need as much money as I can get. I'm gonna go Aphelios reroll, I don't think anyone ever contests Aphelios, so this should be, should be... I should be immune to getting contested. We should have our first game after 3 hours today of not getting contested, okay? Yeah. Hey, I missed last Umbral gameplay. There was nothing to miss, brother man. Trust me. Someone was playing Dryad, found an additional Dryad emblem, and decided to reroll Yone. And somehow 3-star Yone before me, while I'm just trying to 3-star Yone and Elune. Meanwhile, he late game pivots into trying to 3-star Yone after he already 3-starred his Kindred and his Nar. And then he still 3-starred before me. You, you, you missed nothing, man. You missed nothing. There's nothing to miss in that. Yeah, there's nothing to miss, brother, man. Trust me. Nothing to miss. Uh, 
Oh yeah, let's go. We win those. I mean, we're not gonna win these fights now because our front line is abysmal. Our front line is embarrassing, right? So we will not win those fights, but we will win eventually. Um, there's gonna be an encounter. And there's gonna be probably augments in stage 4, I would assume. I hope it's gonna be like... I hope it bugs and we get 4 augments, first of all. And second of all, I hope they go just are 3 augments back to back. That would just be hilarious. That would be quite hilarious. Okay, so we have no tank items. We just want some insane tank items now. We will pick up this very juicy 4 cost tank. That is very nice. Okay, so hopefully I get a Fated Emblem, right? <laughs> hopefully. Or I just get lucky and get a level 7 1% set. That, ha, I would appreciate that as well. I would appreciate that more than a Fated Emblem even. But yeah, hopefully we get a Fated Emblem. We definitely want to play a Sniper. Fated, Fated Ash would just be the play, right? That would just be our play here. I'm gonna level here. Play this idiot. There's a Warden. I can play Warden. So this guy... Yep, there we go. I'm gonna give him the belt. Like a baboose. I'm still gonna keep her front line. Freak this girl. She's gonna jump away anyway. If she can absorb one hit, one additional hit, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Alright, let's go, guys. I'm not sure if this is the perfect build on Aphelios. I could see Giant Slayer being better because uh, instead of Deathblade, because he has uh, what's it called? He has the um, the fated attack damage bonus, right? Seventy-five percent is a lot later on. But I definitely think with two Ginsus, a Deathblade cannot be completely wrong, right? It's definitely going to be strong if Aphelios is strong. Grants you four free rerolls this round. I will take it, brother man. Do I level here? No, right? I don't level. Me gusta. Me gusta. Me gusta, mamacita. Ay, papi. No, no, no. No, papi. No, no, no. No, no, mama, mamacita, mamacita. Ay, mamacita, mama, mamacita. No, 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 no puppy, no puppy, no. No, guys, like, it was just a misclick. It was just a misclick, like, don't you misclick? Like, if you type mamacita on the keyboard, if you look at the letters, like, it's very easy to misclick puppy. It's like, right, 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 like, I just slipped. I just slipped, guys. My fingers slipped. It's right there, bro. Like, mamacita and puppy, it's just right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like I just typoed, man. It happens, bro. It happens. <laughs> it's not even close. XDD. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm using a, I'm using a keyboard from Zimbabwe. We have a different, key. we have a different layout, man. I'm using a keyboard from Zimbabwe, man. Like what? Are you a racist? Are you a racist right now, huh? <sighs> Freak this guy, man. Freak this guy, guys. Uh, for real, guys. For real. I'm gonna two-star this because it sta stabilizes me. What is our level 7 comp? Like, I, I assume it's just 5... 5, uh, Fated. <laughs> Thieves' Glove. I'll just go Thieves' Glove. I can go Thieves' Glove, even Shroud. Thieves' Glove on Thresh. There's an Augment here. I'm so broke. What even happened? I mean, I need five fated, no? Okay, is it even my fault? There's no thresh. Is that my fault? No. This game is so bad, bro. Holy frick, this game is awful. Holy frick, this game is trash, brother man. Straight up. Do I go even shroud? I feel like it's not good to go even shroud. I feel like the 20% armor pen is okay. Like it's acceptable. It's acceptable. Right? 
I feel like it's acceptable. 20% armor pen and then just go for dra uh, Warmox, Dragon Claw or something. Like really, really, really juicy tank items. Because we have this double Ginsu setup. We just need time to stack up. We've got a 3-star Senna as well. I mean, I'm planning on playing Ash. And Senna is contested, so I'm not 3-starring her. Okay, I, I think I have to roll until 2 star. Nice, okay, we're back. Oh my god! This guy is looking good, man. Oh, he's looking good, though. Okay, so do you play full fated or what? You do, right? You do? You play full fated, I guess, right? A Mumu Porcelain Warden. I don't have an Ash. When I get when I get um, a Mumu, I'll play it. And when I get an Ash, I'll play a Mumu. I'm not gonna worry. Like, I'm not gonna keep a Mumu on my bench until I get freaking Ash, right? I don't know when I'll get Ash. I might never get Ash for the rest of the game. The thing is, I feel like I'm low rolling so hard on the Aphelios. Because I had so many and then I rolled so much and I found only one. So I feel like this is a little bit doomed already. Low key. High key. High key, guys. High key. Fated Emblem. Balance budget. Unified is pretty good. I think I need to take combat, right? Unified is good with the Yasuo shield. That is pretty good. Yasuo shield, unified, that's pretty good. Bro, you just gotta be kidding, man. I haven't seen an Aphelios on anybody's board in like 15 games. Deadass. Now I play Aphelios reroll, this mother trucker just sits there with a 2-star. Instantly. Like, you gotta be kidding, though. This day is cursed. This day just makes me wanna uninstall, man. It's crazy. No, like, we can't even blame them. They, they, no, they're not stream sniping. They just play the game, but for some reason, their RNG... You know, lets them find these things, and then it just screws me. We can only blame RNG, guys. It's just RNG. But how can it be straight up bad for three hours straight? I didn't... Uh, like, I, I don't know. Three hours straight, bad RNG. I do not understand, bro. I mean, he's freaking dead, bro. Oh! Nah, bro! <laughs> Freak you, man! Uh, now what? Now what? The thing is, I'm not gonna get this, right? There's one really good thing, of course. I don't think we're getting it. I mean, there's another good thing. There's another good thing. This is better. Okay, you know, he might be stream sniping because he is just... Um, He's taking the Aphelios. He might be stream sniping now. Now, I might think he's stream sniping. Because he was like dancing in front of it and then takes it as soon as I'm there, right? It might be stream sniping, but I wanted this anyway. If he if he wanted to deny Aphelios, or if he wanted to stream snipe me, or like uh, grief me, he should have taken this. But he's probably a noob, right? He doesn't know. Stream snipers are very bad at the game, right? Always, guys. Stream snipers. Because stream snipers think about it. Yeah, I mean, okay, this guy is beyond dumb, right? He's putting this item on this, yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay. Might be a stream sniper that is just trying to grief me. Again, the stream snipers are huge losers, guys, right? Because they don't get enough uh, attention. Because they don't have parents, they don't have friends, right? So they need attention by the streamer. So they stream snipe their games, right? So they are, uh... They, they have zero brain cells, they have nothing, right? Because why don't they have friends, right? They just have nothing, right? So they just gotta annoy the streamer, but they're even too dumb for that, right? Because they're building wrong items and stuff and denying the wrong thing. I, I would never take Aphelios there. I wanted a Nautilus for Nautilus 2. That's huge spike. You smell me? Oh, but yeah. Hey, yep. All right, hold up. So what do we get here? Another encounter. Janna offers you a treasure armory that can be rerolled up to 10 times. Alright, hit me with the tank items, bro. There's a Syndra. Hit me with the tank items, man. Holy frick, I thought it rerolled into the same thing. 
I mean, low-key, there's a Syndra, but then I get an even Shroud. I mean, Syndra with blue buff is good, though. Syndra with blue buff is good, though. But honestly, it's just a one-star Syndra. She's not going to do a lot. I can ditch this, though. I have to take this. This is too good. And then I, I guess I will go even Shroud. But this is too good, right? Bramble Vest, like, just lock it in. He's actually trying to 3-star Aphelios. Which I haven't seen anyone play yet. Literally no one. I heard it... ...from one of my high-rank friends that it's good. That they played in China or something. Sometimes. It's like a hidden, hidden good comp, Aphelios 3-star. With double Ginsu's. So this makes me think this might be a little sniperino. But we'll just wait until he dies because he's a freaking little noob. So he's gonna die soon enough, as you can see. 19 health. Yeah, I, I have to wait to roll until then, right? I have to, right? I, I need to 3-star the guy easily. He was in chat. No, this, this guy was in chat. This guy was in chat. Can you not read the names? This guy is called Cold Turtle. He's a freaking turtle, man. Oh. This is freedom. Okay, full item. Low rolled a little bit. Oh no, it's support item. Uh, what are we supposed to take here for support item? Either Virtue or Locket. I feel like it's Locket, right? We get shield. Yeah, yeah. I think it's Locket. <sighs> poor, poor, poor. Look at my freaking units, man. Don't have heal reduction, so that's not bad. Oh! <laughs> guys, don't, don't forget, guys. You need the rainbow damage. The rainbow damage, guys. Wait, he went level 8 and didn't even roll. Wait, he sold his Aphelios. Okay, yeah, I mean, okay, sure. I'm gonna start rolling down now. He went level 8 and sold his Aphelios. He went level 8 so late, though. Kubuku invites you to dance with him. The more players join, the more rewards, sure. Unified on bot side. I don't think it's as uh, as important as um, getting five units into the locket, right? Okay, we get three item components, I think. Oh, there's a, there's the augment as well. Brick is this? Uh, what do I want here? Crash as dummies? Oh, Jewel Lotus is kind of insane. Not really though. I think it's Crash as dummies, now I can get unified on the back line. I herald the greatest blessing. Okay, so what am I supposed to... Also, is Syndra better? Is Syndra better? I kind of want to level now and play Porcelain. I have a Bloodthirster, guys. What the freak do we do with that? I'm not going to get any more components, right? I'll just go Bloodthirster on him. It's not that bad. It, it makes a difference. It's really not that bad. He's pretty tanky. I kind of want to level now and play uh, Amumu for Warden and Porcelain. Seems good to me. But honestly, it's a one-star Ash. Not really, then. This guy has a 2-star Syndra, we still don't have a 3-star Aphelios, it's already so late into the game, where people are already getting... Some people would get a 3-star forecast here, you know? Okay, nice. You see, you complain a little bit and you just hit. Unless. Unless. We get cocked. Surely we don't get cocked. Alright, there we go. And then we can just level.
I'm not sure if Syndra is better than Kindred, you know? Also, I'm pretty sure I'm just selling this guy. I'm never gonna three-star him, right? Uh, I mean, level level 9 is important, so I can play 7 Fated, no? I can play 7 Fated. Level 9 is important for sure. 7 Fated is super important. Ooh, this guy's going kind of crazy. Yeah, maybe Infinity Edge is good on him. I'm gonna sell the Thresh, I think. It's so It's so hard to 3-star. There is this guy, but the item is so bad. But I mean, I, I'll still take it, right? I'll still take it. I think I gotta take it, right? Seven Fated is such a big spike, bro. You gotta take it. There's no way. Uh, we have a Bloodthirster for him as well, eventually, when we find a new Yasuo. We need a new Yasuo. 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 But the question is, how do we play it? We would have to ditch him. Ah-ha-ha. <laughs> uh, do we ditch Sniper? Low-key. Like, high-key we ditch Sniper, no? I think we ditch Sniper, bro. I think we le d legit ditch Sniper. For now. Until we level. I really think so, bro. I really freaking think so. Who gets Last Whisper? The Sniper eventually, right? I'll just give it to nobody. Like, I really think we did Sniper until level 9. It does add a lot of damage to the Aphelios, right? But I feel like the 7 Fated adds so much more. Because 7 Fated is not just the damage that we add... The attack damage that we add to the Aphelios, right? From 7 Fated, which is 25% more attack damage. But it's also the... The amount of shields that we get from the Yasuo, right? Makes my frontline much stronger, which gives him more time to Ginsu's, to stack it to Ginsu's, right? So I do think this is better. Even Shroud, Aphelios, Sunder, and Last Whisper, they are 1000% getting penetrated. They sure are, brother, man. They sure are. They sure freaking are, man. See, that, that guy that guy is what I should have been, right? Like, this guy is what I should have been. I should have had 3-star Bard super early, or 3-star Aphelios super early, like he has 3-star Bard super early, and then a 3-star uh, Thresh as well, but the, the guy just decided, yeah, it is what it is, guys. Nothing we can do. We're not gonna win this, man. I don't have a Giant Slayer against freaking Tom Kench, Giga Tom Kench, like perfect items as well against me. Impossible to win. Ah, it's so annoying, man. Can I even make it to level 10? At uh, level 9, I mean. I'm not buying this. She's just there, she has no items. Uh, how do we make it to level 9, bro? 72, I need to survive 1. I have 18 health, I could probably survive. You should play Thresh next to Set. For what? Let's use our brain. For what, man? You should play Thresh. Play Thresh next to Set. Let's think about it. The hell, okay. Now, who is next to the Thresh? Who is next to the Set? Who is next to the Set? Which two units are next to the Set? I just need one fight. I need to survive one fight. Lower health. Yes, this guy has lower health than this, right? He doesn't right now because he lowered all his items, but this guy has more health than this. Now, let's look at this support item that is conveniently in the middle of these four units. Let's just think about that real quick. Let's just think about that. That would be a really cool thing to think about. That would be an amazing thing to think about real quick, guys. Uh, Two-star Lilia. Two-star Azir. Level 8, two-star Legendary Azir. Well, that's gonna be a rough one. He's playing full Invoker, though. Invoker usually not that strong. Hopefully, we can just kill some units. Just don't die. I'm expecting to lose. But please, just don't die. I might be winning. Wow. 
That's sick, bro. That's sick. I didn't expect to win. There's a two-star legendary full invoker uh, guy, right? Let's go. Nice, this big. Story is not yet finished. The thing is, I don't even get stronger, do I? I think I only get stronger with two star set because the Yasuo kind of kind of tanky, no? The Yasuo is kind of tanky. I feel like the Yasuo is low key tanky. <clears throat> like, bro. Like, because, okay, so the thing is, obviously, the Bloodthirster, if I would have a new two-star Yasuo, yes, the Bloodthirster would be much better on the set, even if it's a one-star set. But because I lose the two-star Yasuo, you know, I'll only have a one-star Yasuo and the Bloodthirster on set. That is, in total, weaker than what I have right now. If I would have a remover, Bloodthirster on set, perfect. I would do that instantly, without even thinking, right? But because we lose the two star Yasuo, the two star Yasuo is a big difference. Because, it, like, it, it's like, bro, it's so much, uh, it's unified resistance and freaking locket, right? Armor magic resistance. It's so much armor magic resistance that we're getting. So it's really good. I don't think I'll even bother two starring her. I mean, bro, we got a top three. I'm pretty happy with this because this guy is really strong. We already established we can't beat him. I'm gonna move the Last Whisper over here, just to have the Last Whisper effect immediately. Tom Kench, Tom Kench getting Last Whisper immediately. Winnable? Not really, probably. Our, our uh, set is also getting bonus attack damage, 42% already, it's not bad. 42% bonus attack damage from the squats. I feel like this Bard is too strong, right? The QSS is not that good, though. The double Ginsu's is perfect, and then I think the best last item is Gunblade. Nah, bro, he's way too strong. He's way too strong. Am I dead? Nice. And this guy's dead? Okay, we're top two. We'll take it, guys. We'll take it. We will take it. Fated Emblem. Does that even do anything, though? It does. It does. It does. It's Fated Ash, and it allows me to drop the idiot. Fated Ash. Reveal our way. But what do I what do I play for it? I frick it. Arcanist, yeah. Who gets this? Him? Probably him. I think I'm dead anyway. I think I'm dead anyway. I'm pretty sure I'm dead, bro. We got Porcelain and Fated on Ash. Like, the Ash can actually get strong now, but we would need a two-star Ash. Wait a second. We did get much stronger, but not enough. Not enough. Ah, close. We tried! That was cool though, right? The Aphelios is cool, man. I like it. Aphelios, double Ginsus. Pretty fun comp here, man. Definitely gonna be decent at least, right? It's gonna be a decent reroll comp. Probably not gonna be too contested usually, guys. Usually, again. The last 15 games, I have not seen a single Aphelios on anyone's board. We'll take it, guys. Subscribe, ring the bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views. I'll see you next time.